What was that? So we're out here at a meet called Beers and Gears. There's a brewery somewhere over there. And um, we got people just kind of spread out all over the place. We got BMWs over here. We got some American cars over there, more BMWs down there. And then we got some exotic cars up there, which we'll probably walk around over there and take a look. So it's a couple days later after the meet and I was actually gonna save this footage for a different video but actually I didn't think I was gonna have to do this but um, the other day a few weeks ago I noticed that my spoiler was acting a little funny I ended up having like three giant bubbles that look like pimples so the carbon fiber the top layer actually lifted and it was creating three different bubbles and once I put it back into the garage and I guess after it cooled down a little bit it went back down so I didn't even bother to uh, actually removing the spoiler like I had in intentions of doing so but today I, I was getting off work and I realized that the spoiler was looking a little weird again so it had two bubbles um, instead of three this time but I know it's just gonna, it's gonna it's gonna be a constant thing that happens so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it because I don't really want to go to a show if it's out in the sun if there's any shows I don't want it to be lifting up and have people see it so I'm not able to show you guys on camera how the uh, bubbles get but I, w I do have a picture that I'll insert it here that way so you guys can get an idea on how the carbon fiber gets once it's hot enough and um, like I said I really don't want to leave it on here like this if it's gonna be doing it every time that the car sit outside sits outside in the sun and so I really don't want people to kind of see it all weird looking so unfortunately this is just gonna have to come off um, I do have some ideas that I might do with this spoiler later on but uh, we'll just kind of go wingless for now 
and uh, see how the car looks which I've been kind of curious to see how it looks without the wing but yeah guys um, I'm gonna show you how to take the uh, carbon fiber spoiler off all you guys need is some fishing line and I'm gonna try to hurry up because I do have a dentist appointment so I just kind of wanted to get this out of the way right now and uh, we'll just pick up the, uh, the video later I'm gonna do a time lapse kind of show you guys how to do it and then uh, we'll just finish the video later on today So I don't even think we need a time lapse. Uh, this is going a lot quicker than I thought it was. Um, luckily, this is actually um, right, just 3M double-sided tape. The tape that was on here before was actually the stock um, stock tape that they used. It was a lot more difficult to get off, and also maybe it might help that this was actually sitting in the sun for about four or five hours. But yeah, we almost got it off. There we go. All right, so it's off. Oh man, I forgot that we didn't take the whole uh, tape off. So this boiler came off without a problem. Unfortunately, we have all this junk that needs to come off. And I forgot that whenever we put it on, we didn't take off the whole thing because it was real time consuming. But I have no choice now. I'm gonna have to leave it like this for now because I don't think I have enough time today. Or actually, I'll probably finish this after my dentist appointment. I'm just gonna have to ride like this. So we're gonna clean it up a little bit and then uh, once I get back from my appointment, I'll probably come back and finish this off. And uh, I'll show you guys the, uh, the end result in a little bit. All right guys, so it is two days after I started recording the video and it was it took me about an hour just to get a small section off. So I decided to order a eraser wheel off Amazon and uh, it's finally here, so we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully it should be a lot easier to take off and from my understanding it should it shouldn't really mess up the paint but I have to uh, polish the trunk anyway so I mean if it scratches it a little bit it should be okay because I already ended up scratching it by hand because it was actually I was putting a lot of pressure on it and I was rubbing pretty hard. Uh, even though I was using a microfiber you can still see some scratches through here that I don't even know how they got there. So we're going to use this eraser wheel. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get my drill and uh, hopefully I'll have uh, success over here. Uh, yes, it comes with a little bit which pretty much you just thread on here. Stop, use line, max 4000 RPM, stop, use, uh, whatever. Alright, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and take this one off. it off Go forward all right let's go so I think I'm gonna try to go up and down um, this should do the trick but I'm actually gonna go try to go slow so I can't really control the speed on here so I'm gonna try to do my best to you know hopefully not damage anything Let's go ahead and give it a try. Jeez. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? Fucking A, dude.
All right, so here we have most of it gone. As you guys can see, it's coming off pretty easy. I already did this part. I was actually doing this. I thought I was recording this at the beginning, but I realized that I wasn't even recording. So I ended up doing this whole part and then I realized that my cam uh, camera shut off. So that's when I realized that I wasn't actually recording. But you guys saw how easy it was to come off. And I mean, honestly, just, <laughs> I wish I would have just gotten this from the beginning. It probably would have been a lot easier. I probably would have saved myself from scratching the car. But I mean, we'll find out once I clean this up and see if it scratched at all. Um, unfortunately, you guys saw what happened with the camera as soon as I started recording. My trunk is very slick, so the tripod wasn't gripping. And unfortunately, my camera fell and uh, scratched my back window a little bit. Um, I don't know, can you guys, uh, is it possible to sand glass and even it out? Um, somebody, if you guys happen to watch this, let me know if I can do this. If not, I mean, I'll probably do research on it, but I'm thankful that the glass didn't break. Cause it, I don't know, this camera is pretty heavy and um, yeah, that would have been bad if it cracked. Luckily it didn't. So anyways, uh, back to the video. Um, everything looks to be good. Just got to do a small section and uh, once I'm done with this, I'll update you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I finally have everything cleaned off as far as I can see. So if you guys notice, actually I still missed the spot but I'll go back over it. If you guys notice, I was going up and down and kind of having the uh, wheel at an angle. I noticed that that was actually a little bit easier to get the um, actual tape off. You can go side to side, but whenever the part that was actually kind of thick, it, was, it seemed like it was taking a little while. I tried doing it over here, but unfortunately, like I said guys, I wasn't recording. Uh, so. The easiest way is to go up and down and then kind of put the wheel at an angle. You guys will see that I kind of have the um, the wheel edge right there. It's kind of rounded off so because I was going kind of like this in this kind of motion. So that was taking it off without an issue instead of me just going straight flat like this. Um, you know, I mean you can do both ways but like I said it's a little, little bit quicker if you do it up and down at an angle. So let's go ahead and just kind of wipe this off. This is actually my first time using this, so it's pretty cool to, to see see how it works. Honestly, I will never try to do it by hand again. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have that for a while, but once that runs out, if I ever have to use it again, I'm gonna order another one. So, guys, if you guys are interested in grabbing one, I will put the link in the description down below. Honestly, I highly recommend it. This will save you so much time. I did I ended up doing the whole row in about what like five minutes maybe at the most versus me doing the section that was from here to here in about an hour so it took forever and honestly i don't really see any scratches on this side versus me doing it by hand over here so unfortunately i mean all this is fixable luckily so i would just end up doing it by hand and uh well i'll end up polishing it and then um uh, yeah so as you guys i'm just kind of rubbing and trunk is a little bit dirty but it's okay uh we have a polisher we can kind of get rid of the uh, small scratches all right so i just took some uh, quick detail and sprayed the whole trunk well not quick detail but waterless wash um but you know quick detail would probably do the trick i'm just kind of cleaning it off and I actually recommend if you don't have a polisher, I mean, you probably could just do it by hand. But if you have one, I mean, if not, then I mean, you can just probably pick a cheap one off Amazon and it'll probably do the trick because mine's actually from Harbor Freight. So I don't think it's, you know, any much greater. So in case you guys are interested in the polisher, I will link one down below in case you guys are interested in grabbing one. Um, I can't, you know, vouch by it, but... You know, it might actually do the trick. Worst case, uh, you know, I'll, I'll actually link one that I think that, or one that I would personally buy that looks similar, very similar to the one that I have. You guys can see the eraser kind of left some smudge marks. It didn't really scratch it, but I mean, I'm not really too, I'm not too worried about it. I should be able to clean this off. So let me go ahead and grab my polisher and then I'll kind of continue you guys. I'll, can, I'll walk you guys through the, uh, the process. All right guys, hopefully you guys are able to see me. This is the best place that I could prop the uh, the camera. So hopefully it doesn't tip over again. If so, then I think my tripod might be acting up. So here I have my Harbor Freight um, polisher. And then I have a pad from uh, Chemical Guys, which I will link in the description down below if you guys want to pick this up. Um, I normally use the orange one, which is kind of for like cutting. 
and then I'll end up using a white one which is more of a polishing up right now I don't think I'm gonna be doing it because eventually probably during the fall I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the whole car again because um, I do want to get it ceramic coated so we're just gonna use this for now this is the uh, the orange pad and I have uh, some different polishes um, I have a uh, V34 which is for the heavy scratches and then I have uh, V36 which is the one that I use the most um, the V34 I don't really use it too much that's why I only have the small bottle um, and then for the polishing I normally use V38 but I also used I ended up getting another one which I don't have it with me right now um, but it pretty much does the same I mean so usually I would recommend if you want to do this yourself um, if you want to do the whole car um, a lot of the cars aren't really that bad so I will do a V with a V36 and then I would finish it off with a V38 or like a uh, and then at the end you want to do a hand wax at least to protect it so um, those are my three methods uh, actually let me grab it for you guys because I do have the wax so this is the uh, the wax that I ended up buying so once you end up doing the whole cutting and polish I would actually go by with this um, by hand it's really not that hard to take off um, it's just kind of like that finishing touch to protect the paint that's if you're not going to be ceramic coating the car so this actually comes in handy and plus this smells really good so uh, it's the Chevy or not Chevy cherry white wax by chemical guys like I said I will link them in the description down below if you guys want to grab one What you want to do is you want to take a clean microfiber cloth um, if you guys i don't know if you guys are going to be able to notice but uh i was actually spending more time on this side just because i had it hadn't been that long since i actually did my car i think uh it might have been maybe like four months since i last did it no actually it's been longer than that but my paint was still smooth so before you actually do this you really want to clay bar the car just so you can pick up any uh any of the uh contaminants and dirt that kind of sticks onto the paint you just want to go ahead and clean it all right guys well that's going to do it for today's video don't forget to clean your pad once you're done all you have to do is rinse it through water a couple of times as you squeeze it out and then you'll be able to tell when it's clean you might have to take depending how much you end up doing you might have to do it a little bit more but all you have to do is just let it air dry and uh, do not stick it in the dryer because it will mess it up um, but hopefully this i hope this video helps some of you guys or will help you guys for the future uh process if you end up wanting to replace your oem spoiler and like i said this will be for any car unless i haven't said it but it'll well it'll help for any car that has a um, sticky tape double sided tape that's hard to come off usually if you do um 3m double sided tape that you buy uh, from the store it's easy it's not as much of a problem but i have no idea what type of tape they use at the dealerships so it's more of a pain uh, hey guys uh the car looks way better now that it's clean. It doesn't have the, the tape kind of just sitting there and looking stupid. Um, but I do want to say sorry that I haven't really been consistent with the videos. I'm kind of going through a uh, moving stage again. Um, I think I'm going to be without a garage for about two months, which is going to suck. So I'm going to have to try to work around it and see what it what's going on. And unfortunately, if I have to do any car work, it's going to have to be out in the sun uh, or unless I can find a place to work at. Uh, but yeah guys it won't be till the end of June so we still have a little bit more time in this garage and um, my hands are uh, see that's what happens when they close the gyms um, but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one so I just got done kind of test fitting the bumper and golly dude it's such a big difference seeing it in person versus pictures and man am i glad i went with this bumper it is so mean so aggressive but i'm not going to show you guys yet um, i know you guys are probably going to see it by the thumbnail 
but I'm looking at it right now and man this thing looks mean honestly I wish I kind of wanted black kind of want to do something black on the car I don't know I might think about it this is so tempting just looking at it right now I don't even know I was supposed to drop it off for paint right now but I'm really considering uh, doing a satin black wrap I don't know why I just feel like it would look so good with um, the carbon and the gray wheels I don't know what you guys think but I don't really know where this video is gonna be going but I might upload it at the end of um, actually that's what I'm gonna do that's when I, I'm what I'm gonna be doing um, dang, I can't even speak I'm gonna be uploading this clip at the end of the video that you guys are watching now just to kind of give you guys a hint of what's coming but if you haven't subscribed um, go ahead and do so because there is gonna be some changes coming to this car and I think this is gonna look really really good man <laughs> it's you guys are gonna want this for your car so stay tuned guys Oh, 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 oh,